All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. Tonight, we're going to be doing a little project in preparation for the next sporting season that comes up. As many of you know, I do events. I do a lot of laser engraving for people, uh, as well as I have other guys that kind of help me out with these type of jobs. And one of the jobs that I get asked about a lot is, can you engrave my child's glove that he uses for t-ball, baseball, softball, you name it. The gloves are basically, most of them are the same or very similar at least. Uh, one of the more popular ones, because it is affordable, is the Rawlings brand uh, glove. And so what I did is I went to my local Walmart and picked one up and <laughs> I've just been practicing on it. I've been going inside here because I wanted to save the outside so that I could show you guys what it would look like when we get done. So I've been on the inside of it here with the F1 Ultra, doing a little testing, trying to come up with the settings and get it to look the way that I want it to look. And so now guys, we're fixing to go forward with the video and try to see if we can make this thing look cool. So if that's something you're into, stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, and for tonight's job, because this is some type of leather-ish. <laughs> so tonight we're gonna be using the X-Tool F1 Ultra, and I've got the uh, new AP2 hooked up to it just to keep those fumes and stuff out of the shop because guys, anytime you're engraving anything, use your own judgment, uh, consider your own safety. I personally think the amount of smoke that's gonna be generated by this, I feel confident that the, the AP2 is gonna absorb it. And so therefore, even though this may or may not be intended to be laser engraved, I think we'll be fine. So, but you need to make that decision for yourself. So if you do this, don't say clack, told me I could. So this is me doing what I do. Uh, but anyway, I did a little bit of testing. I've come up with the settings and we're gonna set this up on the Ultra and go ahead and see about uh, just easy text, name, logo, whatever. We're gonna kind of test both, but just show you what it looks like on it when we get done. Uh, some of this is gonna be in XCS. But yes, I am using the Ultra and I will be piping the exhaust out to this guy. One of the key things with doing a glove like this, guys, especially with a fiber laser, because I'm using the, uh, the 1064 nanometers on this machine, is you've gotta to try to get it as flat as you can because these machines are very finicky when it comes to focus. If you get too far out of focus, you're gonna have no effect on the material whatsoever. So if you've got it turned like this or like this, that can lead to a bad engrave in which you have part, part of it is engraved fine. And then as it goes up the hill or down the hill, it's gonna just kind of taper off and not be engraved very well. So you're gonna to wanna to spend a little time making sure that you have this sitting appropriately so that you can engrave it. So I'm gonna get this set up and I'll show you how I'm gonna go about doing it. All right guys, so getting these things level, getting them straight is gonna be probably the, the, the hardest part of the entire operation. Now, I'm currently just using an old shirt that I've kinda got bunched up and I just use it, I press it up against the, the glove to get it exactly where I want it. I've got myself a little plastic clip and I'll show you what I got. It's got like a little plastic clamp to hold this thing together just to make sure that it's not sitting there slowly opening because even if you press this together, it can sit there and just slowly open itself just on the, 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 the material, the tension on the material. So once I get it over here to the, to the machine, of course, I'm gonna set my focus where I wanna put the engrave, but I'm gonna use my, my little T-shirt material here to just kinda of get it as close as close to level as I can. Like I said, this is gonna be one of those jobs that perfection is probably not gonna be a possibility when it comes to getting the focus exactly right all over the material because this is by no shape of the imagination a flat object and that's gonna make it challenging. So that's the biggest thing that I'll tell you. If you have a, a, a wanna spend more time and, and press it into, you know, you get it flat and that kind of thing, maybe you could do that. But me personally, I'm just gonna take, and I've got, the zero, I've got the zero set on the Z right there. I've got it clamped. I've kinda got it bunched up so that it's as level as I think it needs to be. So we're gonna go set the cut up and frame it out, place it, and then we're gonna hit that magic go button and see how bad we mess this thing up. All right guys, over here in XCS, as you can see, I've got my F1 Ultra connected 
And you'll also notice here that I've got the Safety Pro uh, also connected. And for those of you that aren't aware, this is X-Tool's new purification, air purification system. And I've been running it for a couple of weeks. It's doing a pretty good job. I've been using it with the S1, but it is also compatible with the Ultra as well. So I figure I'm going to use it for this, this video. And I've got plans for another video that I'm also going to be using it with. So, uh, yeah, I've got it set to automatically come on and stay on for 10 seconds after the engraved is done. And that's very handy because so, it keeps the smoking stuff out of the, uh, out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't need to focus because I've already manually focused it. So I'm just going to take a picture here with the camera and get a picture of what the glove looks like. And so there we are. That's the glove in the workspace set up the way that it is laying in there and i'm i'm thinking i want the text right here below let me go double check which one of those i've got set up in the center there put david and of course everybody calls me clack and we're gonna put this text on our glove and so i'm gonna set this to an engrave uh, I'm going to go over here and I have already created a setting that says Rawlings baseball glove. And you can see I'm running 65% power, 300 speed, uh, is set to one pass. Uh, the lines per centimeter is set to 120, which I turned that up a little while ago. Not sure why that didn't change. I want that at 200. So got that set to 200 and it's at 30 kilohertz. So I'm going to go over here and reframe the size of this. Uh, I want this text, and we're going to use a different font too, because that font's not like I want. So we'll put the text, see, I kind of like put it right there. See if I can arrange it a little bit with that red line right there. All right, so where's my... My font, uh, we're gonna change this over and we'll use, that's a cool font. I think that's something that maybe some a, a kid playing uh, sports would, would like. So we'll put that font on there and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the framing button because I do wanna frame this up and make sure of where it is going in the software or on the, uh, on the device. So let me go over there and check my frame and see if that is acceptable preparing for preview and uh, we're gonna hit start and now I'm gonna walk over to the machine and hit the button all right guys so we're over here at the machine and the frame is a little off from where I want it so I'm gonna manually move the glove because I find especially when you're doing uh, this type of a framing operation sometimes it's easier just to move the object by hand than it is to try to move it in the software and get it exactly where you want it so I'm also going to kind of just make sure I've got that as flat as I can get it uh, because I want to try to get an even burn and that that ridge and valley is going to be a little challenging for uh, making sure my z-axis stays correct. So we're going to close that and you're going to be over here so that you can see what's going on. We're going to go ahead and hit go to process on the machine here. preparing for preview and uh, we're going to hit start and now I'm going to walk over to the machine and hit the button. So here we go guys. Let's see how this works. And you can hear, you can hear that. I don't know if you heard that little delay, uh, the AP2 cut on shortly after the F1 Ultra cut on. So uh, we have air filtration underway. And there we go. Let me get over here and look at it. I always like to give it a good look just to make sure it looks the way that I want it to look before I move anything. Because I, at this point, if it wasn't dark enough, we could go ahead and double tap the button, rerun the job and get it even darker. But you have to be careful with, especially with this type of material. It's not like wood. If you go too deep or too heavy, you can go through this material into a layer that's underneath there. That's not going to be as uh pleasing to look at so there we go so there is the the burn that we that we came up with and i think it looks pretty good so let's get it over here and uh 
get it where we can see it. I, I, I could have probably done a little better on positioning it, but if you notice, all of the text on this is kind of, it's, it's all a little twisted. It's just a little rough when you're doing something that is so, so three-dimensional. So let's get over here and check it out. All right, guys, so the name turned out actually really nice. Uh, like I said, I probably could have done a little better job on my alignment, but all in all, not bad. All right, back over here at the machine, I'm going to refresh my background image here, and we're going to uh, change up the text a little bit, and then I'm gonna to try to put uh, a different image in here. Uh, this, I'm gonna change the font on that. I don't, that one was a little thin. So I'm gonna put something a little thicker, so it'll be a little darker, so you can see what it would look like uh, if the font was a little darker. Uh, may even shrink that down just a fuzz. Uh, I've got that right there. All right, and we're just going to use the Clack Shack logo uh, to uh, to make this a little faster. Uh, so let's go to, uh, let's see here, laser files. I'm going to go into my XCS files. And we should have a Clack Shack logo in here somewhere. There we go. So we're going to pretend that this is like the team image or team logo for the team and we're just going to put this on here along with the name both of these uh images are set to the same setting now and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and we are going to outline frame this and i'm going to frame it up over on the machine so that i can make sure it's going exactly where i want it all right guys so everything looks like it's lined up and we're going to go ahead and hit this over to uh process so over here in XES, I'm going to go ahead and snap another picture with the camera just to show you guys uh, what the camera on the uh, F1 Ultra looks like. Because this is after a burn, so you get an idea of uh, exactly how accurate it is. And also, it does a pretty good job for like close-up views. So there's the, there's the design. Not sure why that looks that way. Let's get it off of the laser and see if it looks like that in real life. With the uh, thicker font, I should get a darker engrave, uh, something a little more consistent with the Rawlings uh, writing that's on there, I hope. And uh, so we're gonna let that burn. And uh, looks like Looks like about 26 seconds on the machine it was done. So let's walk over here to XCS and check out uh, what it looks like in XCS. So over here in XCS, I'm gonna go ahead and snap another picture with the camera just to show you guys uh, what the camera on the uh, F1 Ultra looks like. Because this is after a burn, so you get an idea of uh, exactly how accurate it is. And also, it does a pretty good job for quite close-up views so there's the there's the design not sure why that looks that way let's get it off of the laser and see if it looks like that in real life so i'm not real sure what went wrong with my graphic I'm, i have used that logo before i'm sure it's something i did bringing it in uh and setting all the settings to it because the text looks great uh but as you can see the logo does have that little piece around the edges of it um i don't know what i did sometimes sometimes I, I do things that i didn't even know i could do uh and i apparently i apparently messed up that logo so there you go but the the, the text has turned out really nice and uh so since we bought this thing to test guys i'm gonna do a few more i'm just gonna run it through a few more tests we'll try some different fonts that way it'll give you an idea of uh what to expect so and i I gotta get this logo working right. So let me get back over to the machine. All right, taking another uh, photo of the uh, positioning there. Like I said, I've set the focus by hand, so there's no need to try to do that automatically. We'll try to line this up about right there and uh, see how it goes. I've got everything selected. As you can see, my setting has gotten messed up because I didn't re-enter them. So I'm gonna go over here and type it put it back to my baseball glove setting uh, and I'm going to run this back to 200. Uh, I just find that with this material it seems to do a better job once you uh, you know 
do a little extra LPI to it. Uh, make sure it doesn't miss any spots. It gets that nice darker color. All right, everything looks good, guys. Sending it over to the machine. I'm hoping that I figured out what's wrong with the uh, logo. Okay, guys, so me and this logo not getting along. For some reason, it was way too hot that time. So I'm going to clean this up. <laughs> We're going to just do text. I'm leaving the logo alone. I don't know what is what the deal is with it, but it is not wanting to cooperate with me tonight. So let's get it cleaned up, and let's do our last line of just text. All right, guys, well, a little rubbing alcohol, and we're gonna wipe this off one last time. Uh, like I said, I had really good luck with the text. For some reason, I was having some issues with that Clack Shack logo. I haven't used it since the last couple of updates to XCS. I don't know if it was something I was doing, something that was happening between that exported file uh, being brought into XCS or what, but the text works perfect, and so we just stuck with the text. Uh, but. Guys, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the uh, like button and share this video. Uh, comment, do all that good stuff to help me recoup my losses for buying this little glove here. Uh, but as you can see, guys, the last, the last pass right here, this is what I just ran. This is my final, my final answer to what are the settings for this. I went a little hot on the uh, logo, which the logo was giving me some issues anyway, but I did notice that I had a little too high LPI which caused the, the outer layer of this material to come loose, uh, is if you get it too hot, that outer layer comes off and the bottom underneath there is just, it's just garbage, it looks bad. So as you can see, other than, other than where the logo kind of messed up a little bit, and I bumped it here, trying to get that cool B-row with my little camera, I bumped the glove and caused that line. It done a really great job, but we're running our, right there on this text here, I'm running the IR laser at 65% power, uh, 300 millimeters a second, and at 140 lines per centimeter. So, and got a good, really good results. Now, could this vary uh, wherever you are in your area? Could this be different? Yes, in fact, it could. A uh, lot, of, lot of other things go into effect, but this should be a really good jumping off point to get you started. Uh, you can uh, do like I did and just go buy yourself a small glove to, to kind of get your feet wet and build some confidence or just go for it, <laughs> it's, your, it's your choice. Uh, but a lot of people had been asking me for this and this is a little T-ball glove, so it's nothing uh, nothing too expensive, guys, but the material should be the same. Uh, this one, it really doesn't, it really doesn't say a whole lot other than, you know, it's got this warning right there, so. But all in all, I think this will be a good idea, a good little project. Uh, you would, like I said, make sure your, 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 your ventilation, don't breathe the fumes off this because I have no idea what's, what's in this. I've had lots of parents have asked me about marking gloves for their kids, for the leagues. Uh, you know, parents uh, really spend a lot of time and effort and money uh, with kids and sports. And I've also got some other projects uh, in line that are going to fall in with baseball and softball type stuff. Uh, that you might want to follow a couple cnc projects as well so but there you have it guys can you do it can you engrave one of these yes use your own preferences as far as exhaust but please please be careful 
Uh, anytime you're engraving anything that is not a natural product or you do not know what's in it. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, follow down below, hit the subscribe button, like the video, all that cool stuff. And until next time, be safe and have a good day.